Hi guys, today we're going to do some basic sugar work and make sugar shards, uh, making them state so you don't have to. Uh, first, I've put some caster sugar um, in a bowl. So I've got a gentle heat going there, um, and I'm just going to put this on like this. I'm not going to stir it. And so, what it's going to do, the heat is going to heat up the sugar, and the sugars are going to start to break down and liquefy. And then um, you'll see that the colour starts to change. You don't want to stir it, uh, you just want to leave it at the moment. This is the dry sugar method that we're going to use. It, there is also a, a wet sugar method that you read about where you actually mix in some water, um, but you take the, the heat actually further because you create a sugar syrup and then you heat up the syrup and the water evapor evaporates. So the sugar actually heats up over a longer period of time and actually has a, a, a deep, different actually more deeper um, uh, kind of caramel flavour to it. Uh, this method will just heat the sugar up really quickly, um, as you'll see. So it's actually already liquefying at the edges. It's gone a very kind of crystal clear colour at the moment. Uh, and so we're going to keep taking the temperature up and we actually want the colour to change and become a, a beautiful kind of brown amber type. It started to brown. I'm actually going to stir it up a little bit so you have a more consistent colour. Smell beautiful. Okay, so we're here at the mat, and I'm just going to pour out a little bit of this lovely sugar here, caramelised sugar. Got a little one there, and I'm going to put some on the other side. You have to work very quickly because it starts to harden very quickly. Um, there's different stages you can take the sugar, and you'll read about this if you ever look this up. So you've got a uh, soft ball stage, hard ball stage, um, uh, soft crack, hard crack. This one, we're just going to let that soften up, uh, let that harden up. One of the things that you need to do is let it cool down. So if we try to actually uh, make sugar shards now, whilst it's still at this temperature, it just won't break up, you won't get a nice crack to it. So if I tried it here, look, it's actually soft, look. See that, it's got, just got little indentations in there. So you're not going to get a nice, lovely crack to the sugar. Um, so you want to wait till it really hardens up so you can Okay, so I'm going to heat some sugar up again. Again, I've got two teaspoons of um, caster sugar in here. So again, a gentle heat. But this time, I'm actually going to keep stirring it as it's heating up. What's starting to happen is some of the sugar is clumping together and crystallizing, forming some crystals together. So it actually feels very different. It almost feels like some coarse kind of salt now. And I don't know if you can see that. It's, you know, it started to clump together. It's actually starting to crystallize. Because what's happening is as the sugar um, structure chemically is changing as it's heating up, it's actually clumping together and creating these crystals, crystallizing some sugar um, together. So you can see, look, it's got a lovely golden colour, but uh, you know, it's kind of stuck onto the spoon, bits of burnt on the edges, it kind of frothed up, but you saw because the heat hasn't dispersed 
gradually and built up in the sugar as it's kind of broken down and liquefied um, and then started to change its structure. Okay, so we're back at the mat. So this is the sugar that we made with the caster sugar as we were stirring it in the pan. Here. I mean, we haven't really been able to manage it very well. You can see it's a very dark colour. Um, it's actually taken it well past the point where it's lovely, softer kind of amber. And this is very dark. And it's because it was a lot harder to actually manage the temperature on this. Okay, so we're back at the stove. This time we're going to use icing sugar. Um, now, icing sugar or powdered sugar actually has an anti -clump, uh, clumping agent in it. So it's normally some kind of starch like cornstarch. Um, and so that's why, you know, as, as you see, powdered sugar it doesn't kind of clump together and it, with any moisture that it's drawing in. Um, so we're going to heat this up and I'm going to show you what happens with this. So you can see it's got a lovely amber colour, but there's still bits in it. So I've got to continue to heat it up and it's just going to take the temperature up and up and up. Okay, so that's with icing sugar. So we'll take it over to the mat and we'll have a look what it looks like. Okay, so we're back at the mat. We've got the caramel we made with icing sugar. It's a very dark colour, very quite similar to this, actually a bit darker. Okay, so we've got our sugar here. Um, so just to remind you, this is the sugar we made with the uh, caster sugar. Uh, we just gradually heated it up. This is the one where we tried to uh, make the sugar shards um, whilst it was still quite hot, and you can see we put the indentations there. This is the one that we made where we stirred the sugar together. Uh, and as you remember, that kind of clumped it together and then it just heated too far. And this is the one we made with icing sugar, which again got very hot. You can see the colour differences here. So you can see it's quite, this is very, you know, translucent. Um, this is a lot darker, this one. So again, very translucent. This one's a lot darker, a lot darker. The temperature just got very high. Um, so we're just going to make the shards by just stabbing them with something sharp. It's got a lovely little shard there. Um, it's going to taste very nice. Again, some nice little shards. It's going to be a bit darker. Harder kind of dark, very bitter, very bitter. Still relatively bitter. Actually, it's a bit nicer than this one. Um, See that it's a lot darker and got quite thick actually. But this one is the standout. 